What's up guys, this is Karuzu from Karuzu's Gaming and Reactions and I'm back with another video. Um, I kind of want to talk about the uh, new movie that's set to release, the new Dragon Ball movie that's set to release uh, December the 14th this year, okay? There's been some information out there about this movie coming out and there's been a few different stories, but I decided to go to uh, comic book anime and actually find out uh, a few things about the movie that we should be looking forward to and uh, wow, what I actually think uh, about the uh, um, about all of the new information that's coming out okay so um, in terms of um, in terms of um, what we're looking to expect it says, a new statement from Akira Toriyama regarding Dragon Ball Super has gotten fans excited about the anime's continuation. The franchise official website for the 20th film has a statement from the creator, uh, Kazen, what is that, Kazen Shu? Translated, the artist writes, Now then, the animated version on TV will be ending for the time being see this right here the time being so basically it's you know they're, they're gonna be going on a little bit of a sabbatical and uh, leaving fans curious of whether the show will continue if you head over to social media media there's a good chance you will see somebody bring up Dragon Ball Super and that's very true a lot of fans were extremely extremely ticked off because you know, all of this buildup and stories that they've made uh, or, or the potential stories that could be made from just this story arc, the uh, uh, term in a power story arc, uh, is, is you know, unfathomable. I mean, it's, it's so many stories that could be told just from this one arc. And um, up until the day, anime fans were led to believe the anime was coming to a full-on end. That's right. Now that says up until today. That's right, guys. Up until today, everybody thought that Dragon Ball Super was completely done for. That was it. We weren't going to get any more uh, episodes pertaining to Dragon Ball Super. Up until today. Okay. So, and everybody thought it was coming to the end. This month, we will see its final episode air as Goku and Jiren wrap their fight up fight at the Tournament of Power, but that isn't going to be the end of Dragon Ball Super. I want to stipulate, but that isn't going to be the end of Dragon Ball Super. Okay, guys? I want you to see that because a lot of fans have really been freaking out about that, and they should have. I was too, because I became such a big fan of Dragon Ball Super, and I was like, I don't believe that they're willing to take this chance and lose such a juggernaut like this, these uh, this series. I mean, it really, really. I mean, I love Dragon Ball as a whole, but Dragon Ball Super is something special. It's probably one of the more popular anime series ever created. Okay, so, and you can see right here what it says over here on the right hand side. It says, "Toy Animation confirms Dragon Ball Super will continue." That's a big statement. Toei Animation confirms Dragon Ball Super will continue. So anybody who has any doubt in their minds need to go ahead and be done with it. Because that's it. Okay? On that. Alright. No, the series will live on. Toei Animation has confirmed there is more left in store for the franchise. Yes, it is. Earlier today, fans were told the stunning news after the first poster for Dragon Ball new movie went live. The key visual shows Goku in the front center with white against a white background and Toei Animation went on to reveal some new information about, a, about the little known film. Rather than being a prequel or a spinoff, the studio confirmed the movie will take place. I want to stipulate this. They confirmed, the studio confirmed the movie will take place after Dragon Ball Super and acts as a sort of new arc of sorts. Basically what they're doing is as soon as this tournament of power ends, when the movie comes out in December, it's a continuation of what happened after the tournament of power. 
So even though the uh, TV episodes are coming to an end, they're going to spin up uh, into a new arc, um, uh, so to speak, right after the tournament. It's going to pick up right after the tournament. And my guess is, is while they're doing groundbreaking work on the movie, they're going to be, um, they're going to be, uh, seeing the reaction to the movie. And then also, um, cause that animated movie actually is going to get movie doors. I mean, they can release that movie to the movie theater and people will go and see it. That's how good Dragon Ball Super has been. So they're going to make a lot of money off of that. And I look forward to seeing it actually. So, um, from its contents, it turns out to be the next episode of the TV animation Dragon Ball Super. Toy Animation wrote in a newly released statement. It will be the first time a movie has been named Dragon Ball Super. Okay? This is very important. Now, from what I've been told, that this is a provisional title. So, it could change. But, as of right now, this is the title of the movie that's coming out in December, guys. Dragon Ball Super. So that's super exciting to be honest because uh you know you know we always knew there would be more Dragon Ball but nobody ever thought that they would actually continue Dragon Ball Super. People thought that it would be Dragon Ball but it would be something else, not like GT but it would be something you know wildly different. So, you know, and that's not what people actually wanted. It's it really would have been a waste of time to put so much work in and in, in, in do such a fabulous job on a series and just, just can it. It's just really ridiculous. So, Toei Animation is not the only Dragon Ball expert confirming the continuation. Akira Toriyama, the creator, the mastermind behind it all, uh, released his own st statement connecting the anime series to the upcoming Dragon Ball movie. The Dragon Ball, Ball Super movie this time around will be the next story that takes place after uh, the anime that's currently on TV. Okay? Toriyama added. The only reason I'm putting this stuff here is because I want you guys to see the actual facts. Because people are just sitting there freaking out about what they think should happen. So, um, not what they think should happen. I mean, that's fine. What they what they hypothesize their hypothesis is based on absolutely nothing. It's based on fantasy, basically, and all it's fantasy. So I guess all of it's based on fantasy. But I'm gonna base what's gonna happen in the movie based on what we know already. Okay. Um. I'm, that's what I'm, I'm. I say I'm going to base what I think is going to happen in the new movie in December on the facts that we have already. Okay, so far there have been a few details about the film story. There have been, there are a few details about the film story or whether it will be broken down into a new animated series later on. The fans have long theorized that Toei Animation would eventually do films based on Dragon Ball Super to give its television staff some time to expand the show itself. The studio has kept quiet, the studio has kept quiet about such rumors. But this new announcement of the, uh, about Dragon Ball Super's film continuation has the fandom wondering if their fan theories, uh, if their fan theories were right all along. <clears throat> okay. Now, this poster thing here, I don't know what to say about this. I, I have mixed feelings about the poster. Uh, what's up? Uh, have a look. Because I had some questions earlier about um, what was actually going to happen with uh, all of this stuff. So I want you to see some. This is what I want you to see. Now, I want you guys to see this. Okay. Where we are. Mm. Okay. Now, this is what I. Uh, this is the poster that was released, uh, if you guys can see it. It's Goku standing in his, uh, standing with a power pole. That's what this is right here, a power pole. If anybody knows anything about the history of Dragon Ball, you know what this power pole is and what it does. Okay, now, 
when I first, this morning when I got up, I was thinking that the movie that was going to be released was going to be an origin story. That's what I was led to believe. That it was going to be an origin story about the Saiyans and their home planet, uh, Vegeta. And uh, and then the events leading up to uh, Goku and, uh, uh, you know, how, how Frieza interacted with planet Vegeta and all that. That's what I was led to believe. And apparently that's not the case at all. And I knew it wasn't as soon as I saw this image. Let me tell you the very reason why. And this is why people need to freaking calm down. They are going to touch on that. How the origin part of how Frieza came to know the Saiyans and all that. They are going to touch on that in the movie because that has been confirmed. But it's not the entire movie. That's not what the whole movie is going to be about. That's ridiculous. How are you going to have a series called Dragon Ball Super? And have all of this forward thinking and then go way back to before, before, before. You know what I mean? That's To me, that's a waste of money. I mean, that may be something you could do on, you know, break it down into a series or something later. But not right now. Right now, you got this right here, this franchise right here. Uh, this is the one that's going to make the money for you. So this is what you go with. Now, this is supposedly the animation that they're going to be using. This is drastically different. Than what we're used to seeing on Dragon Ball Super. I am convinced that that's not the case. This is just a drawing of a poster. They're not doing any, you know, there's no 3D uh, type, uh, you know, uh, post printing here where, you know, the, we're used to seeing the characters literally about to walk off the screen. This looks a little flat. Um, so people are kind of thrown off by it. They think the whole movie is going to look like this. I don't think so. Okay. I really, really don't think so. Because part of the reason why people love Dragon Ball Super the most is because of the animation. The animation has been stellar. But those guys need a rest because they've done I don't know, thousands and thousands of hours of animation trying to uh, you know, uh, please us every single week. So um, in terms of um, this right here, this is the reason why I knew it wasn't going to be an origin story because it's this karate gear here. Listen. That's Master Roshi's symbol, okay? That's not the Planet Vegeta's symbol or or some other story symbol. This is Master Roshi's symbol. And so I knew that whatever it was going to be was not going to be before Goku or before Master Roshi. Because this came during the uh, Dragon Ball series and into Dragon Ball Z and so forth and so on. This is the gi that he wears now. So... That's why I knew when I saw this image, I was like, what are they talking about, an origin story? How is that? So, you know, people need to just take a chill pill on that. It's going to be a Dragon Ball Super movie, and it's going to pick up right after uh, this uh, Tournament of Power is over. Now, all right, so here's the, uh, here's the deal here, too, as well. Um, somebody was saying earlier that uh, the, there have been some scattered details released about the movie uh, in terms of, uh, in terms of, um, in terms of uh, uh, what's going to actually happen to So, um, the problem with that is, in my mind, is uh, that they're saying that uh, there's going to be a massive battle in the new Dragon Ball movie. And it, probably, it is going to be a massive battle. And it's supposed to be a long awaited fall. A lot of people think it was weak. Somebody said it was weak. I don't think it was weak. Uh, that's just a stupid thing to say in my mind. It's not weak. It could be the Grand Prix. It could be the Grand Prix, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's probably more likely. Um, um, I think it's actually Beerus. And people are like, well, why you say Beerus? He's already fought Beerus. Uh, you know, why would he? Uh, you know, why would he? You know, fight Beerus again? First of all, he hasn't fought Beerus at his fullest potential, and that's what Beerus wants. Have you noticed? During the Tournament of Power, every time Goku broke his shell, 
the look on Beerus's face. You remember this look? He always had this this dream. The second time he broke his form, Beerus stood up, pounded his fist and pounded his fist into his hand, and was like, "Yeah, well, let's have a look at Ultra Instinct." It's something about Beerus's prophetic dream that's got him in an uproar, and that's what I think it is, guys. I swear. I know people don't want to hear that because he's already fought Beerus, but not at this level. This is totally different. The fight will be intensely different than it was the first time. Beerus was so OP the first time they fought. It was just incredible. So I really think it's Beerus. And a lot of people don't want to hear that. Well, he's already fought Beerus. He can beat. No, he cannot. Beerus has used maybe 70% uh, of his power. You know, 30% is quite a bit to get to 100, man. And I'm telling you, that is what it is, okay? Or at least that's what I would hope it would be. But if I'm going, if I'm using facts, if I'm going based off what I've seen, then it's either the Grand Priest or it's Beerus. So, and that's based off the information that we have now. There's no other reason for you to try to hypothesize anything else. So anybody doing anything else, is really being a fool. They're, they're, they're not paying attention. So this, and the reason why I says it has something to do with Beerus's prophetic dream. If you realize when you realize when he had the the premonition, you know, you remember that it's a premonition. <laughs> so you remember when he had that uh, in the in the series when he first thought about Dragon Ball, uh, what is no, I mean Super Saiyan God. Um, he's had that same singular that's his been his goal the whole time why do you think he allowed Vegeta and, and Goku to train there you think it was just for food come on guys okay believe me Beerus has been around for millions and millions of years and he's one of the most of uh one of the uh uh probably one of the most dangerous gods of destruction there is if you follow the manga as well you can also get a little bit more information now, that storyline is not the same as the anime, but still, you could get a little bit of background. You think those, those those groups, the guys who write the manga, the people who do anime don't talk to each other, they don't pick ideas from each other? Believe it, they do. So, um, that's what I think it is. I think it's Beerus, and it's all about Beerus' prophetic dream. That's why every time you see him switch, uh, see Goku uh, in the Terminator Power switch into Ultra Instinct or Ultra Instinct Omen, Go, uh, Beerus gets really excited. He has a very delicious look on his face. So, uh, uh, and I don't mean that we're delicious as in, you know, it, it's just a look that he's excited about it. He's really pumped up. He wants Goku to succeed so he can fight it. I'm telling you right now, that's what it's about. Fulfillment for Beerus. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but, you know... And then it'll be the Grand Priest, which will be equally fun. So, anyway, guys, this has been Karuzu with another video. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And we'll do more videos like this. And uh, we'll talk about this stuff later. This is Karuzu from Karuzu's Gaming Reactions. And we'll see you guys in the next video.